In Asia and around the world, high-speed rail has become an important symbol of national development and economic prosperity. People expect high-speed rail to be able to connect different cities and different countries closely, so as to shorten the distance and promote economic exchanges and tourism development. However, in Thailand, a country full of charm, two high-speed rail projects are facing very different fates. On the one hand, the China-Thailand railway is about to be completed and has become a model of regional cooperation. On the other hand, the high-speed rail in Bangkok, Thailand, built by Japan, has been caught in infinite delays. Why did these two high-speed rail projects have such different endings? This article will take you to find out and reveal the inside story. Thailand attracts tourists with its charming scenery and unique culture. However, the traffic situation in Thailand is much criticized, even worse than people imagined. For example, it usually takes at least four hours, or even longer, to travel from downtown Bangkok to Surat Thoni, a popular tourist destination. The distance is only about 160 kilometers, and it is long and painful due to congested roads and poor traffic. In addition, Thailand's public transportation system is also facing huge challenges. In the case of Bangkok, its public transport system has a reputation for being busy, congested and inconvenient. When taking public buses or subways, it is often necessary to wait patiently and endure the crowded environment, which brings great inconvenience to residents and tourists. Faced with this situation, Thailand decided to take action and develop a high-speed rail system. As early as 2013, Thailand planned to build two high-speed rail lines. The first is the Bangkok Chiang Mai high-speed rail, which was built at an investment of 12 billion US dollars. It is understood that the high-speed rail project from Bangkok to Chiang Mai has a total length of 668 kilometers a design speed of up to 300 km per hour, and a total of 12 stations. The first phase of the project is the bangkok Bitsanyalok section with a total length of 380 km, and the second phase is the Bitsanyalok chiang mai section with a total length of 288 km. In addition, the project is planned to start construction in 2013 and officially open in 2018. Another project is the standard gauge railway from Bangkok to Nong Kai, referred to as the China-Thailand Railway. The total investment of the railway project is about 5.4 billion US dollars, with a total length of about 867 kilometers, extending from Kunming, Yunnan province, China to Bangkok, the capital of Thailand. The railway crosses magnificent landscapes and diverse geographical environments, connecting important cities and economic regions in China and Thailand. It is understood that the project officially started in 2017, and is expected to be fully open to traffic in 2023. By then, the train travel time from coming to Bangkok will be shortened from a few days to about 15 hours, which will greatly facilitate business travel, tourism and cargo transportation. However, since Thailand lacked the advanced technology to build it by itself, they decided to call for international tenders. When Thailand started bidding, various high-speed rail powers participated in the competition one after another, and put forward a series of exciting additional conditions. They hoped to bring huge value and development opportunities to Thailand's transportation infrastructure construction through their unique advantages. For example, Germany has committed to using the most advanced high-speed rail equipment to ensure that the construction and operation of the Bangkok Chiang Mai high-speed rail reach world-class levels. On the other hand, Japan promised to provide large-scale loans to Thailand and assist Thailand in financing to reduce the financial pressure of the project. As one of the global leaders in sustainable development, China has promised to take a series of environmental protection measures during the construction of high-speed rail to help Thailand improve its environmental conditions. However, no one expected that in 2015, Thailand experienced a period of economic downturn, and exports fell by 5.78%, the largest decline in six consecutive years. Faced with this situation, 
Thailand can only abandon Germany's advanced technology and choose to cooperate with Japan and China. Ten years on, however, the two high-speed rail projects are facing very different fates. The railway project undertaken by Japan has not yet started, while the railway project built by China is about to be completed. As a high-speed rail power next only to China, why did Japan fall into such a situation? It is understood that the main reason for this situation is Japan's instability when promising preferential terms. When Thailand first proposed the Bangkok Chiang Mai high-speed rail project, Japan made a series of promises to prevent China from taking it away. Among them, 80% of the project funds will be provided by Japan as a loan to Thailand, with a repayment period of up to 50 years and an interest rate of only 0.1%. Compared with this, China was not rich at that time, so it was only willing to provide loan interest between 2% and 2.5% to Thailand. Therefore, Japan provided Thailand with a low interest loan of more than 10 billion US dollars, which was stipulated to be repaid after 50 years. As we all know, international loans only need to repay the interest and principal on time, because the loans provided by Japan are equivalent to interest free loans. So, in the past 10 years, Thailand has not paid any money to Japan so far, which has caused stalls and delays in construction further exacerbating the problem. What is even more worrying is that the Thai government also proposed a series of additional requirements and conditions to Japan, such as extending the loan period and waiving interest. This makes the loan agreement more complicated, and further increases the contradictions and differences between the two parties. In addition, the actual cost of the high-speed rail project was higher than Japan expected, which also contributed to the problem. For example, the actual price of an acre of land may be only 10,000 US dollars, but landowners in Thailand demand as much as 100,000 US dollars, which the Japanese side cannot afford. With no real progress in land preparation for the Bangkok Chiang Mai high speed rail project, Japan's patience is running out and the project has come to a standstill. With the growth of Thailand's economy in recent years, and after several rounds of planning and demonstration, the first phase of the Bangkok Chiang Mai high speed rail project is expected to be officially launched in 2023. It is worrying that, now that the first half of 2023 is coming to an end, construction on the project has not yet begun. This raises questions about whether the project can actually be implemented. What do you think about these two projects in Thailand? If you were a decision maker, who would you choose to build the Bangkok Chiang Mai high speed rail project? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area below.